Hello again, I'm back with another video, and I'm back with another Jumper T-Pro upgrade. So, those of you who purchased the first version of the Jumper T-Pro would have got the 4-in-1 internal module. And this means that if you want to fly ELRS, you're going to have to get the external module to, um, to get the connectivity. Well, the good news is, is now they have released an internal 1-watt ELRS module that allows you to go in and replace the old 4-in-1 and that means that we can finally take this big chunky module, external module off and move on to something a bit more slimmer. So what I'd like to do today is go through, open it up, see how easy it is to um, replace the module and um, hopefully um, get it up and running. Okay, so let's get started. So as I said, this is the module. And you can see that there's a heat sink there and the um, the module on top. Um, but before we get started, we're going to have to open everything up. So let me quickly go through that process. First, let's get rid of the module bay. Now I'll probably keep this just in case I want to fly FR Sky in the future, but I don't think I will. I've transitioned everything to ELRS. Okay, so next step, let's get this case open. All right, the batteries are out. And all the screws, let's probably speed this up just to avoid wasting your time. And I think this is the last one. Let's see if it gets opened up. Nope. There we are. So. First step is let's disconnect all the cables. Next, we need to take off the 4-in-1. So that's connected by a 4-pin over here. And it looks like it's got a plastic heatsink. <clears throat> I guess with the 4-in-1, they didn't need to cool it down, so there was... Um, just a makeshift plastic heat sink instead. Alright, as I said, that looks like just a plastic casing just to hold the four and one in together. And if we're lucky, things should just fall into place. Perfect. So we'll get that ready, put that in. All right, that's in nice, secure now. Um, it's not clear which one is the earth. Oh, I'm assuming the black pin, sorry, the black cable will be the earth. I'm going to guess since the cable is um, bent this way, the earth is at the bottom. So. I'm going to go with the black, the black cable connecting to the last pin closest to the bottom. Let's see how that works. And it looks like it's done, as simple as that. So let's put it all back together. Starting with these cables, which can be a lot of fun to reconnect. And 
and do not forget to connect your antenna otherwise you're going to blow the transmitter secured nicely and that's it a lot easier than I thought so let's get it all back together and let's get those screws in and the battery back in so let's try this ah, that would seem to work so screws are in next we have batteries and last but not least the battery covers let me see if I can do this okay three two one nice okay to be honest I think they the battery covers are the hardest thing on this whole activity so next thing we need to do is to um, set it up so now it's looking for the ELRS module internally instead of externally so let's go ahead and get into the settings So I think in the first setting, go page two, page two. If we scroll down somewhere in the middle or close to the end, we will have so you got you have the external RF. We now want to turn that off. So external RF is off. And then we go to internal, which is one above, and we change that to crossfire since it is crossfire. The LRS is using, is using the crossfire protocol. And that should be it. So let's just see how things are going here. And I'll go to my Express LRS Lua script and bingo, it's connected. So let me quickly go and um, set up the uh, the binding and the connection and um, and firmware update, and then we can test it to see if we'll connect to uh, one of my whoops. Okay, so I'm back, and now it's time to test the internal module to see if everything's working. And just um, to give you a sneak peek, I did get my hands on the Meteor 75 1S HD digital, but this is the HD zero version. I haven't seen any videos online yet, so I may do a video to show how much fun this can be. And I had, I have to admit, I've had a lot of fun with this one. So let me go ahead. So we've got the module still connected. Let's go back. So this is ready to go. And then let's connect this one up. And do we get a connection? Booyah! There we go. Fantastic. So everything's working perfectly. We've got a nice strong signal. So that means the antenna's connected, our internal module's connected, and we're ready to go. So basically, I think we can generally throw this away. But for me, I am going to keep it as a backup somewhere in case I ever want to do Fly FR Sky. And I did buy a FR Sky module, external module, in case I do want to use it with um, with this particular um, controller. Um, I'll share all the links in the description in case you want to do the same thing. And I hope this was useful. Um, please let me know if you have any comments. And uh, thank you for watching the video. Have a good one.